Hi everyone, welcome to another video. It's Timothy Daniels here. If you're new, and if you're not new, I hope you've been well since the last video. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine. I don't know why, but I've missed I've missed doing makeup videos. I actually really enjoy I actually enjoy recording myself doing makeup and editing it. I don't know if there's something so I don't know if it's but I just get like butterflies, some just lice calming butterflies when I record myself and then edit myself do my makeup so I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine these are just products that I just use every single day because I just like how it looks and I don't also like how it looks when I apply it straight away I also like how it looks after I've worn it for 16 hours so these are just products that I use if I'm going to be wearing makeup every every single day but I don't wear makeup every single day but if I have to wear makeup not that I have to but if I want to wear makeup this is the kind of look that I'll be going for so I just want to encourage everyone, like I know I encourage people to be kind to other people, but it's really, really, really important to be kind to yourself and stand up for your and stand up for yourself. Um your mental health is really, really important. I mean you're not perfect, you know what I mean? So just don't be hard on yourself, because I'm currently going through that. I'm always just being so hard on myself. But it's really, really important to be kind to yourself. Not to say that you're ignorant or you ignore your weaknesses. But as long as you're aware, be kind to yourself, don't be hard on yourself and just stand up for yourself. And your emotional well-being and your mental health okay so with that being said let's get into the video okay guys so for my base um i like to do my base off camera i don't think i've ever done my base on here maybe i will one day and then just get off camera and wait for a bit but i just like to do my base off camera and let it just sink into my skin because i just like how it feels so to moisturize i use my core x snail mousse and power essence i just love I just think this is really good for oily skin. I think it's really good for oily skin. I love how um, it retains my moisture and keeps my skin looking very smooth and healthy throughout the day. And then to prime, these are just the primers I use every single day. These are my go-to primers. I love this Power Grip Cramp Primer. It feels, I don't know, I love how tacky it makes my skin feel and I feel like my makeup actually, it, this actually grips onto it and makes it last all day. And I just love this Resurfacing Primer. I really love this for blurring my imperfections. This is really nice. It's really, really good at blurring my pores and just making my skin look smooth. Like I just love and like just resurfaces and gives me a smooth canvas for my makeup to apply. So yeah, so that's everything I use for my base. So we're gonna go in with the rest. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to say um for my brows um I use this Beauty Bay brush up brow soap. So I just brush my brows with a not with a spoolie or like a brush. I'll, I'll show you my brush, but it's really, really. It's just got so much glue in it and it's just it's not something you want to be looking at i don't really want to scar you guys but yeah i use this um beauty bay brush soap brows to just brush up my brows and then i just conceal it and the concealer i normally use is just my la girl pro concealer in the shade warm honey yeah that's all i use i literally just brush it. i don't fill it in because i feel like if i use the soap brow it will make my brows look really really thick and nice and fluffy and i like that look so yeah yeah, I don't think I've ever done my brows on camera one day. I mean, if you guys are really concerned with how I do my brows, then I can do it. But, yeah, I feel like it's very self-explanatory. I don't know if people still struggle to do their brows or go. Anyway, and I'm not personally a brow person. Like, I just feel like how my brows end up, how my brows end up, nobody will die. So, guys, I begin with my L'Oreal Paris skin paradise tinted moisturizer which has an spf of 20. i really like this tinted moisturizer i feel like it keeps my skin hydrated i really do like the dewy formula it evens up the skin tone and provides a radiant finish it does have a lot of pigment compared to other moisturizers which i do like actually i do like it has a bit more coverage and then i'm going to go in with my elf 16 hour camera concealer in deep cinnamon i love this concealer it covers up my imperfections and under eye circles it corrects and perfects without settling into my crease for a smooth matte, matte finish that obviously as you guys know stays put for 16 hours straight and then to brighten my under eye because i do really like it overly bright under eye i'm using my ordinary concealer i don't know the shade it will be linked down below if you're interested but guys this is a very 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 full coverage concealer so i would recommend that you start je, 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 jelly and then obviously build your desired coverage but it's a lovely concealer that blends in with my skin it goes on so smooth and easy and it feels great and looks good on my skin and just hides that those dark circles that haven't leave my eyes and i just feel like it gives a subtle brightening effect without being too harsh or noticeable
I'm going to be doing some liquid contouring now. So I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Also forgot the shade, but I will link everything down below. Just to contour. I love that this is a, also a highly pigmented formula. It's lightweight, but full coverage at the same time. And it's just perf perfect for those of you who love the full coverage effect, but you also want a boost of hydration. What I do, I just apply this to the hollows of my cheekbones, my temples, my jawline, and the side of my nose. And just, just this just en enhances the natural look of my facial framework and just gives me red carpet cheekbones which is goals for life and i'm going to go in with my huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade banana bread i really love this loose powder it holds my makeup in place all day for natural and it just gives a nice airbrush finish and it helps control shine throughout the day for a long lasting natural finish and um, the rice starch is well known to absorb sebum to help control shine and create a smooth appearance on skin so guys i'm gonna contour now and to contour i'm gonna be using my morphe filter effect finishing powder in the number 14 guys i really love this powder even as a set of powder it's amazing sometimes i use number seven to um set my under eye guys when i tell you it's just it's actually just a filter finish like your face looks very, very filtered like the morphe filter effect range is amazing like it's an affordable range that gives you an airbrushed filter effect to look like you don't need a filter their products are filtered in themselves i really like the warmth and depth this color gives to my skin because i was big a big fan of morphe, morphe showman's their bron brontor but that also has been out of stock for a while. I don't know if it's been discontinued. This powder as well, sorry guys, it's been out of stock for a while. Don't know if it's been discontinued, but it's a buildable shear to medium coverage. Very creamy, lightweight formula. It's just shine free, oil absorbing, oil absorbing, and just literally selfie approved all okay. So I just like to use this powder as a bronzer contour product because it just has the perfect amount of warmth for me. So then for my eyes, I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Pumping pumpkin spice eyeshadow palettes trust me to like like products that are just always out of stock or just a limited edition but guys i really really love this powder guys for my eyes i really like using warm and spicy autumn colors i feel like it just makes my eyes really really flattering and i don't know i feel like it com complements my skin so i'm using the shade ginger spiced all over my lids all over my lids and i feel like you know this color is very um flattering for my eyes and my complexion and like I said, just trust me to always have a limited palette as my go-to. I don't know if this is still out there. I know there are kind of some like other formula formulations of this one. But guys, yeah, this is actually my go-to eyeshadow palette. And then I just literally just pack it all over my lids to shade Ginger Spice. Like something easy, you know, quick and easy, but still makes me look very effortless and gorgeous. So in to set and just to blend my powders to blend my contour and just give me a nice seamless natural finish i'm going with my elf camo powder in the shade 500w this is just a prime infused pressed powder foundation that the, the coverage is very beautiful and it does also give an airbrush finish i love how everything just it just the powder is really really good for blending my other products on my face together so yeah it blends in really well into my skin and because it's a powder foundation if you've got like really really good skin or you want something really really natural you haven't got probably any hyperpigmentation hyperpigmentation or scarring i would recommend that you can use this on its own without any liquid products um it is not cakey and it looks and stays put from the first application to the last one and then for blush i'm using my elf prime Influ infused brush blush in the shade always cherry um guys guys i get a lot of compliments on this brush on this blush so i know it's good and also just a fun fact i used to hate blush oh my god i used to hate blush i feel like it used to make me look very clowny i don't know, make me look like a puppet let me make me just look like i belong in a circus but now i'm really starting to realize that blush really enhances your natural look like it just gives you a natural healthy glow and i just feel like blush can be used to complement any makeup look but yeah this color is just a very nice subtle pink color and which is shimmering and when the sun is shining in my face i'm also glowy and shining too and then just to set that all in place i'm going over my makeup revolution super dewy um setting spray 
um because i use a lot of powders as you can see guys i literally go in with the powders i'm a very very powdery babe so i just like to use a super dewy setting spray to hydrate my skin and it just feels me looking so healthy so just full of life so like i drink five liters of water every day and it just leaves me with a gorgeous fresh faced dewy finish and it just leaves a lovely natural dewy glow in the skin and makes my makeup look amazing feel so hydrating and the mist is very very fine so it doesn't soak your face your face and for my lips i'm using my go-to like ombre lips combo basically i just love ombre lips i feel like they create the effect of fuller lips and i feel like it completes a glam makeup look i know people have got gloss but i'm really a matte ombre lip girl so basically it doesn't really matter the products as, as long as it's a, it doesn't matter the shade of these sort of like lip products as long as it's ombre i'm happy and every lipstick combo i do is just ombre so what i mean by that is i always use like a dark lip pencil or a dark lipstick to line the outer perimeter of my lips if that's the right word or terminology and then i go in with a lighter shade to create like a fading effect and it just gives the illusion of fuller lips so today's combo it's morphe matte lipstick in the shade goosebumps and i'm gonna go with my L mua velvet matte lipstick in the shade harmony okay thank you guys so much for watching this is my sort of everyday makeup routine like if i'm going to wear makeup this is the literally the routine i did i do and literally i want to say it takes me 15 minutes i'm really really quick with it um thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe and share and yeah by the grace of god i'll see you in my next video and also i um have listed everything down below if any of you lot are interested so yeah that's it straighten my hair with my remington straighters i'll let you guys care for these straighteners that i use and that's it i don't know if this is a bit too much i don't think this is much i think it's actually really nice and yeah light and i like it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and stay blessed um stay healed and stay doing you